what kind of consultations did you make what kind of people did you talk to what steps did you take in order to to decide that uh, i think i need a drph okay so i'm lucky to have a lot of great mentors who are very mm-hmm. invested in me and even though they did not necessarily have a drph themselves but they knew that that was an option and it wasn't just the phd option that was available so over the years i've always known about the drph program and i knew that when I decide to do a doctoral degree, there's a chance that I would choose the DRPH program. So that's a lot easier for me. But so that I can be valuable to whoever is listening to this, I would say, um, look, just cast your mind back to your career journey mm-hmm. and where you are. How much of practice work have you done, or how much of research work have you done? Where do you see your greatest alignment? So if you think you really feel like a researcher and you can function more in a research environment, then a nicer program to go for is a PhD program, knowing mm-hmm. that it will help you a lot more in academia and research. And then if you think like you have a lot of practice experience, you intend to become someone in the practice space, maybe a public health leader, who is advocating for policies or who is working on policy related issues or trying to address structural issues and you're not really this researchy person, then maybe the DRPH program is more for you. However, when you get into the program, like I said earlier, you would learn research skills, you would learn policy skills, you would learn practice skills, you would learn different components that would help you to function either in academia or in research. So that if halfway through you think, oh, I really love this academia and I want to switch after my program, then once you get your terminal degree in a DRP, you can always find your way into the academia space and you would function just as well as you would have if you had a PhD program. Same thing with PhD people who are very, very good with their research and everything. If halfway through you think, oh, I really want to practice, I don't want to do this research thing, then the world is out there for you to actually practice. So mm, yeah. Yeah. I think I think you've made a, a good point. And especially these days, the the distinction between a DRPH and a PhD in terms of career trajectory is not really uh, it's not like it's you know, it's cast in stone, right? You can you can switch uh you know whichever way you want to go you can get a phd and go straight into practice you can get a drph and go straight into academia so it's it's not really um a matter of you know i want to be this or that uh you can have uh, that de- one degree that drph or phd and still uh for example do whatever you want to do with a degree so i think that is that is a, a very good point that you've made um 